The whole idea is we just want to get them to keep on coming back to our content sites where we deliver value. And when they're ready and they're interested, we're presenting them with something that's relevant to that content. And then they click. And when they click, they go to a page where we're going to start to generate some revenue. That's all based on us doing this with a drip program. Hey guys, what's up? Eric Beer here. Appreciate you being on my channel. So I'm playing golf right now and someone just asked me what a drip program is. And I wanted to come on here and explain it to you guys as I just did for them. A drip program is simply when you're setting up any campaign where you start to generate leads and you're putting them into your database, you're setting up a back end where messages are going to be triggered at certain times. So what that means is if you go out and you generate a lead, once that lead comes in, I like to call it the lead born date. It's the time that they come in. And then on the back end, we have a sequence that we set up where an email gets triggered in real time for the first email. The second email would be, let's say, day two, which would be whatever you're trying to do with the user. Are you, are you trying to just nurture them? Are you trying to sell them on the spot? Are you trying to get them to sign up for something as a lead to go somewhere, whatever that is. But you would ultimately have a, a predetermined sequence on the back end that just drips out. Think of it as just day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. Um, another way to think about drips are like in uh, membership programs. So when someone signs up for some training, what a lot of people like to do is they'll drip out the videos. So they won't let you see every video. If it's a 10 day training, they'll let one training open up each day. So day one is the day one video. Day two is the day two video. Day three is the day three video. So let me guys give you an example. So we, we have a, an offer out where we generate traffic for people that are signing up for some of our lead magnets to get more information on, on products and services. One of them happens to be looking for attorneys. So what we do is we take them on the first step and we will get them to sign up. They'll fill out the form. And if they fill out the form, what happens is they will then be matched with attorney. Okay. After that, they fall into our database. Well, we have a bunch of different content sites. And on those content sites, I have people writing about different articles on information, all about attorneys and, and all the different things you could do and your options and comparing different ways to go about it, how to find a good attorney, et cetera. So what we'll do is we'll send traffic to our database and get them to come back to our properties to read content. And then we have different monetization solutions that are on our content sites. I have a product called ClickX, and it's just display ad units that are on my different content pages. We set up the ad unit where there's different keywords, and those keywords are relevant to the page that they're on. So if they're on a lawyer page, that is going to then have different keywords relevant to finding a lawyer and a uh, an attorney, a DUI attorney, um, mass tort attorney, um, personal injury attorney, things like that, right? And the whole idea is we just want to get them to keep on coming back to our content sites where we deliver value. And when they're ready and they're interested, we're presenting them with something that's relevant to that content. And then they click. And when they click, they go to a page where we're going to start to generate some revenue. That's all based on us doing this with a drip program. So once I generate the lead, what we do is we have a predetermined sequence on the back end where emails will get sent out day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six. Sequences could be seven days. Sequences could be 14 days. I've seen sequences that are 365 days long. I'm actually thinking about doing something where I want to send one email a day that's a simple short email about some sort of like inspirational quote with, you know, just a little value bomb drop about like what we do that people can wake up to and see. Cause I know when I'm in, 
in the morning, I'm waking up and I'm looking at stuff. Like motivation is is something that I need to get myself up for sometimes. Right? Sometimes I'm tired. I wake up and I'm like, man. And then I start to watch something and someone like gets me all pumped and I'm all jazzed up and I'm like, bam. Right. So I was thinking about like, I gotta have something like that that just wakes me up every morning, gets me really excited to just pop up out of bed and, and roll and, and do something, even if it's four o'clock in the morning. So um, that would be a sequence where I would create drips 365 days planned out. And then that would start based on when I generate the lead. So that's why I call it the lead born date. So if someone signs up today, then there would be 365 emails from today on. If they sign up a week from now, that same lead born date first email would be from a week ago. Now that person would start to get it that day and then they would get 365 emails going forward. So it's just ultimately the ability for you to control, manage, and prepare messages that you know you want out into the market rather than you having to go and manually set up emails and send every day and just keep doing it and doing it and doing it. Once you figure out a sequence that works, stick with it. Set up a drip program and just once you do it one time, the work is done for you and just the magic happens. So uh, hope this was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.